Hey what's up guys, Harris here, and this is Apple's official case for the iPhone 6 in the leather variant. Now there's also a silicone version which is slightly cheaper. Now this case became very popular last year when Apple announced it for the iPhone 5S. Essentially was a very high quality leather case with a very Apple like price tag. Unfortunately they have upped the price this year by $6 more instead of lowering it like I would have liked. On the back you can see we have a little label there which shows that this is natural leather so it will change color and get kind of discolored over time which was a problem with last year's case. However if you get the black model it doesn't show up as bad as the lighter models. Installing this is suggested to start with the top of the phone kind of snap it in and then snap in the bottom portion. And when you have it in you can see that it fits just like a glove as a official case should. It feels very nice and it wraps around all the device. However, you can see with this model, it gives you less protection because it does not cover up the bottom. There are slightly protruding edges, which means that if you were to drop it on its very bottom, it would give you a little bit of protection, but there's less protection than last year's model, uh, and actually a significant amount less. Now this year, there's also a slightly slimmer bezel, or lay on the table design, I should say, and that's a bit disappointing. So you might want to get a screen protector with this case, because you really won't be getting much screen protection. And as you know, the iPhone 6 does not have Sapphire as it was uh, very highly rumored to have. Apart from that, we get pretty good access to everything else. Everything on the bottom is completely exposed, so you won't have any issues there. The volume buttons are fairly easy to press. Last year, they were a little bit difficult. And this year, they're still not perfectly accessible and easy to press. But I definitely don't think it'll be an issue. It might just need a little bit of time to break in, but it's not too bad right now. You also get complete access to your camera and the flash, I haven't had any problems there. And this does fix the protruding camera problem, so that when you set it down, your phone won't rock a little bit because of the camera. And that's certainly a nice feature. But really what you're paying for this is the leather and the Apple logo on the back. If you're looking for an official case to really represent your iPhone, this is the case to go. But it won't give you much protection, that's due to the thinness and not covering up the bottom, and the very minimal lay on the table design. So if you're looking for a case that is super minimal, this is a good option. But if you're looking for a case with a little bit more protection, this probably isn't a great option for you. And if you're on a budget, you can probably discard this case right away. As with tax and shipping, I ended up spending $52 on this case, which was certainly disappointing. I would have loved if Apple could have lowered the price instead of raised it. I think at $29, this would be a good option. But for $45 for a case that doesn't give you much protection at all, and discolors because of its leather. I really have a problem with recommending this case as I just don't think it's worth it this year. I'm sorry, Apple, I just don't. However, if you're not worried about the price tag and you're looking for something slim and you love the leather premium, maybe if you're kind of a businessman or executive or just wanna spice up your phone with the newest and greatest cases, then go for it. You'll enjoy it, you won't have any regrets. But like I said, if you're on a budget or looking for something with a lot of protection, I won't recommend this case for you. So thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you check out all my other reviews of different cases for the iPhone 6, which will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you later.